The oceans contain many dangers. Venomous sea snakes, huge predators. But what if there was some spooky monster living somewhere way down in the depths of the ocean? An ancient horror that has survived to this day and is still hidden from scientists. 18 meters, 59 feet of pure rage and bloodlust. Huge teeth that can pierce the human body through and through. Powerful jaws that can break any bone. The Megalodon. It's believed that this giant shark went extinct about three and a half million years ago. But what if the Megalodon managed to survive? The world in which a living Megalodon still exists seems like a real nightmare. And this is something different than what you might have seen in all of those thriller movies. Megalodons had the most powerful jaws of any creature that has ever lived on Earth. With a bite force of 28,000 tons per square meter, or 2,617 tons per square foot, the Megalodon was scarier than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And not only from its appearance. Basically, this giant shark wouldn't even need to bite you. The width of its jaw would allow the Megalodon to swallow not only a person, but an entire family, along with a small car in one giant gulp without chewing at all. Even a young megalodon was a danger. Their teeth were four centimeters or one and a half inches long, and their total body length was up to two meters or six and a half feet. Not much compared to adults, but even this baby was extremely deadly. On average, an adult megalodon ate about 1,100 kilograms or two and a half thousand pounds of food daily. And while people clearly wouldn't be on the menu, you definitely wouldn't want to meet a giant hungry shark. After all, when you're hungry, you don't think much about your diet. Experts suggest that the megalodon dove into the depths and watched its prey from below, and then rammed its victim at high speeds. It broke their bones with one blow. Imagine that now, somewhere out there, in the great depths of the ocean, a monster larger than a bus was hiding, and it could follow its prey anywhere, even in shallow water. Hiding from the Megalodon is almost impossible. But how likely is it that Megalodon has actually survived to this day and is hiding somewhere? You probably come across big headlines and even videos that have supposedly proven that this monster shark still exists. It's simply hiding from scientists and researchers, though eyewitnesses always seem to find signs of its existence. One of the likely habitats of this giant shark is an area called the Mariana Trench. Unfortunately, or fortunately, sharks aren't able to survive at such great depths almost 11 kilometers or 6.8 miles. According to one version of events, it was the cooling of the ocean at one point in time that helped in the extinction of the Megalodon. Of course, this was just one of the many reasons, but it was quite a significant one. None of the Megalodon could be living in the Mariana Trench out of sight from scientists. And if it could adapt to such low temperatures, it would probably have to sacrifice its size. And a small megalodon, that's a completely different shark. But what about the rest of the ocean? It's practically unexplored. A very large proportion of the animals in the ocean live at depths within the first few hundred meters or hundreds of feet of the surface where the sunlight penetrates. The deeper you go, the fewer large animals you can find. Megalodon wouldn't like it there. Such a huge monster really needs a lot of food. The Megalodon's regular menu consisted of whales, seals, and sea turtles, but the world has changed a lot since back then. Due to whaling, the whale population has declined. In addition, modern whales are much smarter than their ancestors, which were hunted by Megalodon. So what we have are colder oceans with smarter and smaller prey 
at the same time, not ideal conditions for a giant prehistoric predator. No matter how big our planet may seem, it would be physically impossible to overlook even one prehistoric shark species living in our oceans. Megalodon needs to eat, and it's unlikely that it can masterfully clean up the remnants of its meals. As such, people would constantly be coming across other large animals with bite marks from an enormous shark. But this isn't happening. However, scientists are constantly finding megalodon teeth. Unlike humans who develop teeth only at an early stage, sharks generate new ones throughout their lives. Shark teeth fall out every few weeks, which is why we have so many megalodon teeth at our disposal. But none of them are fresh. If all these stories about the surviving megalodon were true, it wouldn't be pleasant for the megalodon. Today, because of climate change and human behavior, the oceans have far fewer inhabitants. Megalodon, with its prehistoric appetites, would have consumed so much prey that its food would be at an all-time low, and it would have already begun starving. There would simply be none of the large mammals left in the oceans that form the basis of the diet of these giant sharks. Adult megalodons would pose a threat to small and medium-sized human ships because the sharks resemble whales in size, and this isn't so absurd. Great white sharks attack surfers for almost the same reason. Does this mean that people would spend less time at sea? I highly doubt it. Polar bears haven't interfered with Arctic exploration. So no giant prehistoric shark would stop people from making money. We've long felt that we are the masters of this planet. So instead of staying away from the megalodons, people could start arming their ships. Warships or coast guard ships could clear sharks from sea lanes. Any megalodon that would dare even come close to a ship could be destroyed immediately. Despite its huge size, even such a bloodthirsty predator wouldn't be able to withstand the immense power of human weapons. Megalodons would probably be hunted for their meat or teeth, or maybe even just as a hobby. After all, miraculously, the surviving megalodons could quickly go extinct again. This could take no more than 50 years. Perhaps one day the climate on Earth will change in such a way as to create ideal conditions for the revival of the megalodon. It's possible that very soon scientists will develop the ability to literally bring this disappeared species back from the other world. But that's a topic for a separate video. If you like hearing me talk about things like this, let me know in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell so as not to miss anything. Until next time.